menu worthy of our new members' dinner is quite a challenge. But perhaps we can cover up the basketball hoops with a few tasteful facades? Brilliant, Randolph. Facades would be perfect for covering something up. Why does Sam have to join every nerdy club at school? Uh, yes, Sam, I agree that Japanese blowfish is an exotic dish, but hardly appropriate for guests who didn't ask to risk their lives at dinner. Oh. Now, after dinner, the club will want to enjoy some music and dancing. Okay, now this is definitely my department. Check this out. Uh, no doubt, but I think that on a formal occasion, we class members might want to enjoy something a little more traditional. Like the tango! Care to give it a try? Uh. <laughs> Randolph, I am so sorry. My fault. <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't be familiar with the proper steps to a real dance. Hmm. I am so, so uncultured. You are not, Sam. Come on, let's blow this snooze fest and have some real fun at the Beverly Hills Glamour Fair. Glamour Fair? <laughs> so everyone can laugh at me? No, I don't think so. I am not showing my face in public again until I am presentable. We are going to charm school. <laughs> Remember, Samantha, proper elocution and good posture are the keys to making a good impression. Oh. Repeat after me. May I offer you a cup of orange Darjeeling tea? You try. May I offer you a cup of orange Darjeeling tea? Try it again. Only with your nose held higher in the air. May I offer you a cup of tea? <sighs> May I offer you a cup of tea? <laughs> Better. Now for posture. We'll use this Beverly Hills phone book to practice exemplary locomotion. These exemplary manners are so bogus. It's like it's not even Sam. I know. She's only doing it to charm Randolph. He should be trying to charm her. May I offer you a cup of orange Darjeeling tea? Ladies, it isn't polite to leave without bidding adieu. Well, spies, this is a first. I seem to have interrupted you at high tea. Not at all. May I offer you a cup of orange Darjeeling? Why, yes. And my compliments, Sam. I rather like this new persona of yours. Really? You can tell I'm different? Absolutely. You remind me a bit of my mother. Huh? Ouch! Ooh. <laughs> Now, about today's mission. Not much to go on, I'm afraid. Simply a rash of incidents involving petty vandalism, beatings with clubs, a spontaneous primitive behavior, if you like. You're sending us on a mission to round up a few misbehaving yahoos? Must be a slow day on the world domination front. Although the incidents are relatively minor, they are becoming frequent enough for Whoop to be concerned. In fact, there seems to be an incident in progress at the Beverly Hills Mall. <gasps> Our mall? Yes. You'd better get there as soon as you have your gadgets. Gladys? Today, you'll be using fashionable heat sensor motion detector sunglasses, a laser nail file, and the tornado blast hair dryer. And you'll be prepared for all kinds of weather, including acid rain, with its compact collapsible Teflon coated armored umbrella. All right then, off you go to the mall. And remember, <laughs> no shopping. You're on duty. Aww. Whoever did this is still around. I don't see anything. Oh, wait! There! By the shoe store! Hey, you big ape! I don't think they have your size!
But if these uncivilized troglodytes are as dumb as they look, a hologram should do the trick. Evolutionary scale, though I guess not stop saying much. Ah! Hey, you big ignoramus! Don't you know hair pulling is impolite? Let her go! Or. Ow! Ellis, think of something! Ah! He's pulling my hair out by the roots! Ow! Don't worry, Sam. I can outwit this ape man. Oh, are you okay, Sam? Nothing we've can't fix. This goon got that spear from a little guy who didn't look like the others. But I don't see anyone now. He must have cleared out with the rest of the mob. Then this is the only eight men we have left. Let's get a look at him. <gasps> it's Randolph! It is Randolph! So do we take him back to Wu for questioning or drop him off at the zoo? Alex! Can't you see the poor boy's not himself? Looks like he had a reverse makeover. Jer. Good afternoon, spies. Anything to report? We snagged one of the mall wreckers, Jer. But get this, he's a boy at school that Sam's hot for. Really? I would have thought that Sam would be associating with a better class of people than a common hooligan. He is not a hooligan. He's president of CLASS. A well-mannered, sophisticated human being who likes to eat wax fruit. <laughs> <laughs> It appears this Randolph person is a caveman. What? According to the measurements I've just taken, particularly the size of his cranium, he has all the physical characteristics of a Neanderthal. But we just saw him yesterday, and he was the most sophisticated guy in school. So someone's shrinking smart people's brains to turn them into primitive cavemen? Why would anyone do that? Good question, Clover. Do you have any other clues? Well, there's the spear he was carrying. Not a very modern-looking weapon, is it? Here it is! This spear looks exactly like the one at the Anthropology Department of Beverly Hills Community College. Then get to the school right away and see if there's a connection. I'll have Randolph brought to Whoop to see if we can reverse the brain-shrinking process. Uh, I hope you can for Sam's sake, or the class dinner is going to be really interesting. <laughs> We solve this case before the glamour fair is over. I want to ride that new coaster, the curling iron. <laughs> According to the school directory, this is the office of the guy in charge of artifacts, Professor Link. I'm not sure this guy is even a real professor. I mean, look at all these bogus diplomas. The mail order college of Micronesia. Couldn't he get into Tijuana Tech? Actually, Link's been rejected by just about everybody. Harvard, Princeton, that exclusive club for people with high IQs. Listen to this from the Journal of Anthropology. Professor Link's theories don't even qualify as third-rate scholarship. If he were a first-year student, Link would probably fail just for bad spelling. Poor guy, I kind of feel sorry for him. Looks like he's smart enough to lose a TV quiz show. Hey! This guy could almost be the one I saw with the spear in the mall. In which case, he's met Professor Link before. Unless that little guy is Professor Link. But why would he keep a picture of himself losing? I don't know. Same reason he kept all these rejection letters. There's definitely something weird about him. Huh? Hmm. Oh, it's a real cave. Or at least a real artificial one. Wow, it looks like something you'd see in a museum. <laughs> it's so authentic. These stone tools, the cave paintings, those primitive people. Yeah, it looks like they're making real weapons by a real fire. <laughs> they are real, and so are their weapons. got ourselves out of tougher spots before. We can get out of this one, right? Maybe we don't have to. Look! Uh. <laughs> Professor Link, I 
presume? Great idea scaring the caveman with that dumb costume, Link. You're smarter than you look. That's Professor Link. And soon I shall be the smartest man in the world. Grab them! I think we found our bad guy. Unfortunately, my microwave emitter had the opposite effect, and I decided to become the most intelligent person on the planet by making everyone else dumber. That's clever. Not very ambitious, but clever. Look around you. These cretins were once the physics faculty at the Beverly Hills Community College. Don't believe me? I'll give you a little demonstration. This is the head of the astronomy department. the day, and it won't be long before I devolve the entire world. Except for me, of course. We're gonna be cave girls, eating raw meat and wearing animal skins? Oh, don't worry. I have other plans for you three. You're going to go the way of the dinosaurs. Some future paleontologist will discover your fossils in about a million years or so. Ta da! We've got to think of something quick. These fumes are starting to make me woozy. We've got the tornado blast hair dryer. I could use it to blow us away from the pit. Oh, if we could just cut our hands free. Hey, I picked up a flint arrowhead during the last fight. What? I thought it would make a pretty necklace. Now let's stop Link before Beverly Hills is filled with hordes of empty-headed idiots walking around with trash and clothes and vacant stairs. Listen, that must be the sound of Professor Link's brain shrinking device. He's already started it up. But from where? It's gotta be somewhere up high. There! The Ferris wheel at the Glamour Fair is the highest point around. Let's go! Got it? Alex! 
Professor Link, we have to get up there. So the spies have escaped. No matter, you can take care of them, my faithful Neanderthals. shrinking device was unable to penetrate Whoop headquarters, and the only staff affected were those outside on coffee breaks, including me. But you did save the rest of Southern California from being sent back to the Stone Age. Oh, oh, I have a question. Um, oh yeah, uh, me stay this way? Happily, we found a way to reverse the brain shrinking process. It's been successfully tested on Randolph, and everyone affected by Link's Ray should make a full recovery. With no memory of being cavemen, of course. <sighs> Um, and your buddy Alex, in case you care? Well, yeah, of course. <gasps> Good evening. So glad you could come. Lovely dress. Welcome to the CLASS dinner. You can save the proper lady act for Steffi Randolph. Speaking of which, where is Randolph? I haven't seen him yet. He's supposed to be taking care of the music. <laughs> Should get those uptight new recruits to loosen up. Randolph, but you're not the same old you. Nope, the stuffy, boring old Randolph is gone for good. I don't know why I kept my wild side bottled up for so long. Come on, Sam, let's dance. Uh, maybe later. Suit yourself. with this whole Neanderthal mission, it's not so important to be all flawlessly styled with perfectly applied makeup. I mean, hello, it's totally normal, healthy in fact, to just roll out of bed and relax into the day. Lover, varsity quarterback Rick is here to see you. 